West Tennessee School of Cross Champions and Central A documentary on the 91-0 national record. The true story of the champions of lacrosse and their rise to glory. History. We were building a dynasty, and we felt like we were building a dynasty. Cots being raised on the shoulders of his teammates, number 35. Get it, you want to come out. The Red Tennessee Warehouse, the Boy Hustles of Yorktown 7. in 4A and it turns into a score for West Tennessee High School. The answer I get is like it's not my call, but uh, increasing. Tradition. Hills of Camillus are beautiful. I mean, real seriously. It's uh, such a beautiful place. Maybe once upon a time, you, you, no one from out of the district could play at show. There's the rink. Let's do it. Got the guys to play all summer. They've increased their skills. Ba boom. The Z man now, he made, he made a living out of that, right? He's got like 12 hands or something. He's got a wall ball drill. He calls it 12 hands. The whole model of wall ball routine is all for Randy Lovell had always did it, that's how good he got, that's how good he was, so that job card, it was there since 1972, I think it got up there. I don't exactly know where it, you know, why we had high socks, but we always did it. I remember I would tape my socks up in addition to the elastic just to make sure that uh, there was no chance of them writing down. Legacy. Too many people are obsessed with him winning the state titles, and I just think he does a, such a good job molding Mac. It's, it's more than titles, and it's, and it's his philosophy too. It's, his philosophy is not winning state titles at all. It's molding Mac, and just to see that list of coaches, let alone people that have been successful in life. West Tennessee Wildcats finishing undefeated. And the fans have erupted. The history, tradition, and legacy told by those that lived it.